Hello YouTube, this is Assassinator17 and today I'm going to be showing you all about environment variables and um, a little bit of if statements. Um, this is some advanced stuff, so uh, maybe you want to watch some other videos before you watch this one, I don't know, but it's going to be pretty advanced. Anyway, we'll start with the environment var variables. Um, if you've done maths, any maths at all really, you should know what this is variables you know what a variable are and they're just variables that are in the environment that are used by loads of different stuff a lot of the time now we can see like what's inside a variable and I only know some off the top of my head so I know this one a lot because I use it a lot random this produces a random number between 0 and 32,000 something I think that always changes Anyway, there's some more. Look, you just echo them to see what's inside a variable. Most of the time, it'll probably be like a text string or something. And they always have these percent signs. These aren't X's, percent signs it, uh, at the ends. So it'll be the variable name and then the percent signs. And there's some more user name. And that will, you know, username there. Um, and we've got operating system or OS for short. Anyway, those are some environment variables. Now, these can be changed, added, and um, edited, anything. So, edit, change, or anything like that. Hover above my computer, then properties, and then we go advanced system settings. Continue if you're on Vista because it's annoying having to do that. And then um, this is here, this environment variables. It's right here on the advanced tab. Advanced tab right here. Anyway, environment variables. This is the variables for, for my profile. And then we've got the system variables. These are used on any profile. And these, not a lot of people edit or add new ones so these are pretty reliable if you're writing a batch on a computer you don't know and of course new edit delete for both of them so that's cool anyway those are your environment variables and now the if statements I'm going to talk to you about well they well first actually before I do that I'll show you how to make your own temporary um, variables now that's done with the set command oh and by the way if you want to see a complete list without having to do that just type set on its own and you've got a full list. It's right there. Anyway, to set your own variables, you'll do set, I mean, your variable name. We'll call it hello. And then what your variable will equal, and it will equal hello world. If it's done that, you know, space like that. It should look like that. And then we can use this variable temporarily, unless we close, unless we close it, we're not going to, and unless we close it, that variable will stay there the entire time. So if I just echo percent hello, and there we go, we've echoed it, and there it is. Even if we clear the screen, look at this, we can still echo percent hello like that. See, it's still there. Now, the if statements I would like to talk about all involve um, some user input because I find these are the most helpful. These are when you're doing menu style things. And um, these are closely linked to environment variables because they use sort of the same thing as you just saw with the percent signs. Anyway, to do this, we're going to have to, you know, do some batch because it doesn't work in this because, you know, stuff like this is always um, multi lined. So we can't do it. I'm just going to pull up Notepad and we'll just do a simple one. So, uh, echo off as always and then um you would have just an introduction to it hello this is a test uh, and then um we would do something like um, choose no wait this is this is where it gets really annoying because I don't know what to put press one two go to the next menu or press two to exit and then we would have set p which is basically to prompt and then we'll put 
input as our variable name equals and we leave that blank then we have if and then our variable input um, input equals two equals this time one will go to next menu and if then input equals equals, equals two go to exit right and then see this is our if statement here this is the if statement and this is just to dress it up a little bit this echo here oh I didn't put echo there and you'll have to put echo in front of every line like that and then so now we'll have our just to prove that this all works and stuff we'll have next probably give it to this because I don't know if that'll work and then um hello world will be our next menu and um yeah and then um pause it and then exit will just be exit and there we go we should file save that as um, let's just see tester dot bat and as always you'll have your save type as all files save I'll bring up mine and we'll run our we'll run our new batch file Oh, okay, wrong one. There it is. Tester. Hello, this is the tester. Press one to go to the next menu or two to exit, like we like we wanted. Anyway, we'll have we'll just press one. See, it accepts loads of input. If you just press anything, um, yeah, it does that. It's not good. But um, yeah, most people will know what they're doing and they'll obey the instructions. One, any world, press any key to continue. That's because um. It's go. It's just going to carry on going. It's like using pause, but because we didn't end at the um, the loop where it started off as next, we didn't end it. We didn't end the loop, so um, it will just do that all the time. If we press two, you know, we get we just exit. Anyway, that's about it on the things. But that's how that works. So now, now you know how to do some pretty good stuff in batch hopefully you shouldn't just be a script script kitty and just copy everyone else's now you should be able to tailor your own stuff to your own needs for instance I have my account management bat still have the notepad open here this is a very long one it's huge look at all this all these options using lots of environment variables oh I forgot to show you the net user stuff I'll probably cover that later and Let's show you some good ones just as a last video kind of thing. I'll show you my matrix too. Oh yeah, hello Neo. Welcome to the matrix. This is pretty crappy. Oh yeah, matrix. What else have we got? Um, I think that's it. Just so you can see my account management thing. We have it like that. Add password, change password. It will all go to the right thing. It will all work. But I'm just going to exit that now. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.